Um, how about... Is this too loud? I turned it up from 60 to 200%. And then hopefully you can still hear me even back here. It's okay. All right. Um, I'm a little worried that that sun that's going through the window is a little bright. Maybe I should have had my computer somewhere else. We are cooking with fantasticness today, yeah. Maybe a bit more? All right, let's just turn it all the way up. All right. Hopefully this is not too loud. All right, um, oh. I almost forgot, sorry. There we go. You don't wanna cook without your very own apron. Too bad he doesn't have one. Danny thinks that this is her apron. It is my apron. But look at it. It's kind of beautiful. They are indeed cats. Speaking of cats, should we cook with a cat? Uh, I'm really not sure what you mean. Well, not, not using him as meat. We have better meat than him. He's hiding under the chair. You scared him. Well, he'll be more scared after I'm done with him. <laughs> this wouldn't be a cooking stream without the cat. Give me my baby. <laughs> All right, so here's what we have in store for you guys. We have two things. People in college college always used to make fun of me when I would hold up twos with both of my hands because they said it was four but it's not we have two things for you today we have amazing pizza as always you know that's exactly what you'd expect from a cooking stream with me but we are also going to be making a fantastic dessert with Danny she's doing most of it uh, she's what are we making we're making ice cream cake ice cream cake all right so hope you guys are ready so I think we're probably gonna start with the pizza dough because um, pizza before cake is usually usually standard um, so let's get going so you can be as creative as you want with pizza dough but we're just gonna use a bread machine we'll still be making it ourselves but no reason to not use a bread machine all right and actually i'm not going to have it right here because then when it turns on it's going to be the most obnoxious sound you guys have ever heard right next to the mic so instead we'll have it somewhere else but have this right here let me give you guys a nice view. Of it. And let me have the exposure up right here. Just so we can be sure to see all the juicy goodness. Oh, maybe not too much. Alright, I didn't change it at all. Just kidding. Oh yeah, I was going to take out the trash before this. All right, so uh, are we both having a pizza? Oh, mm -hmm. So we're gonna have a pizza cooking contest? I thought that's what we were doing for the whole thing. Okay, so Danny and I are each gonna make a pizza and you guys have to decide whose pizza is better. Mine. <laughs> you guys will decide. We already know what Danny oh. decided. All right, so. Oh crap, I have to go back to the car. Okay. Garlic hey, where's the cup? Uh, Found it. All right, so it is an awesome apron. Mine. So, 
Damn. Okay, whatever. So, we're gonna start with two cups of warm water. And that's one of the nice things about living in Las Vegas. There's plenty of warm water to go around. All right. Oh, also for part of the pizza cooking contest, uh, I'm making the dough for both of us. I don't want to make things too difficult. All right, so next up we're gonna drop in four and a half teaspoons of yeast. Uh, I have to find the yeast first. Uh, give me a second. Hey, Danny, where's the yeast? I just took it out. Oh, that's why I can't find it. <laughs> Team work right here. The name of the game in any marriage. All right. So we go through yeast pretty quickly, so we always buy a whole bunch at once. So four and a half teaspoons. You guys don't want to see my feet right now. They are potentially less than stellar. Wait, do you need the yeast too? Okay, because you took it out. Yeah, for you. Oh. Next up, we're going to have two tablespoons of... Actually, let's do the salt first. Take it out, too. Oh, my goodness. Danny is sabotaging me. <laughs> All right. So... I'm going to nice sprinkle this salt in nice and easy. It's all in the technique for the, the salt sprinkling in the... Is it actually two teaspoons? Salt? Yeah. Yeah. Get it in there all around. Fantastic. Now we're going to put in the two tablespoons of oil. What? The oil's out too! Goodness gracious! Do you not look? <laughs> I look in the cupboard where things belong. They were all next to each other, you weirdo! Alright, so Danny's sabotaging me because she wants to win. But I am We're not, using the same dough. But I am not going to be deterred. You're trying to get me mentally tilted. Trying to get me off of my game. Mm -hmm. But I'm not that easy. Alright. <coughs> Wife game is indeed strong in Danny. Alright. So this is what I would call a recipe without flour. So we're going to do the flour next to turn it into a recipe with flour. Um, no, 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 you can't put, you can't take the flour out of this. See, I'll show you why. I'll show the stream why too. Because the cup doesn't fit. See, it, it won't turn sideways, so I have to, it, all right, Danny's gonna show me the technique. See, see, there's a big giant hole there. You're not getting an accurate measurement. How many more? Uh, five more. Okay, this is clearly suboptimal, a suboptimal method of, uh, of adding the flour. But uh, thank you. Very kind of you. All right, so this is most, this is the heart and soul. No, this is not the heart and soul. This is, these are the blood vessels of the body that is a human. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. All right, we're gonna, oh, wow. We're gonna finish because the, cu the cup hasn't been full and I wanna make sure to have really accurate flour count. Flour count's very important in a pizza. So I'm going to go to our, our, 
Where's our bag of flour? That's the last of our flour. That's the last of our flour. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to try to do it this way. But the problem with this container is that it's really hard to get a full cup. See, let me show you guys something. So it almost looks full right here, guys. But uh, notice this little crevice, this little this little disaster that's going on right here. This is this is a very small amount of flour that's missing, but it adds up. Wait, how many cups of flour did you put in, Danny? Four. Okay, good. That's what I thought. So we got to be very careful. If you don't put enough flour in, your dough is going to be pretty darn screwed up. Um, maybe I'll just do this. This is going to be a bad idea. This is going to end in tears. This is going to... Ah! I knew it. All right, and because we had some some a little missing, let's just add a little a little recovery, a little extra. Keep it nice and good. Uh huh. There we go. Kind of looks like powdered sugar. That's the mark of a a, a good high quality flour right there. All right, so this right here is your your basic bare bones pizza. If you make this, you know, you're going to serve it to everyone and people are going to be like, oh, thanks for the pizza, Jason. Thanks for the pizza. You know, it, it was great. We'll call you back so we can meet up again for dinner, but they'll never call. This is the pizza dough that gets vain, void, empty compliments and no callbacks. If you really want to get called back for another dinner party, you got to spice it up a bit. All right. So the first steps of spicing it up is with one of my favorite things to do and that is good cookings gourmet liquid gel food coloring 12 color gel set all right and this is really going to put some nice kick into our pizza our choices are yellow black brown orange pink blue blue purple green green red pink Danny, do you have a uh, feeling about for the color? Um, let's go with pink. All right, Danny votes pink. Wynja just said pink. I said pink. They only have fuchsia. Is that acceptable? Yes. All right, great. Seeing as fuchsia is in fact a shade. Of so we're gonna have a nice, delicate, not too much, not too little. This is really the key to any good pizza making and some kind some everybody adds food coloring in a different way so I kind of forgot about my my um, my well-known technique and we're actually going to remove the cover of the food coloring before attempting to add it and if you skip this step uh, it doesn't work quite as well thanks belly I do make fantastic pizza um, okay, that didn't work. Um, hold on. Tried and true method right here. These kind of strategies will get you into cooking challenger. If you're familiar with those cooking shows, the producers, when they have questions, they talk to me. Oh, where is Twitch Alerts? Um, is it here maybe? I think it was hidden. Did something happen? I haven't been paying attention. I have no sound. I, ha I ha didn't bring my speakers. Um, oh, Belly with the cheer. Thank you, Belly. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Now it should be here. The alerts. All right. Oh, we have a proper size flower container. That was why I was complaining about it because I only, I never get flour out of there. All right, one drop, two drop, three drop, four drop, five, six drops. Just for, uh, hey, there it is, Trout, thanks. Just for extra style. All right, now we're gonna keep these out because we're gonna be using them later. They're gonna come back. All right, so now we had the bare bones of the pizza. We added the food coloring. So now we're gonna start to get people called back, but, 
it's going to be kind of a, uh, a lukewarm reception, all right? We don't want that. We want things to get really spicy. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a little extra tang to this, uh, to this pizza. Real lemon juice, right here. Just add a bit. Doesn't need to be too much, just enough. All right. People put pineapples on their pizzas every day and nobody thinks anything of it. But when you start putting lemon juice and orange juice, that's when the pizza really starts getting good. Mmm, yeah. That is nice. And finally, the final step. Heard it from Miss Mary Poppins herself. Just add some sugar. Get it nice and sweet right there in the pizza dough. All right. And that is how you make your pizza impress people. That is the secret. You guys heard it here. You are now knowledgeable. You now know the fantastic pizza secret of Jason Barnett. Oh, also, Danny likes some garlic powder, so we're going to put in a bit of this. Real nice. There we go. Fantastic. No measuring required, that's right. All right, and that's how you make some pizza dough. So we're gonna put it to the side, put it in the bread machine, and we've got about maybe an hour or so until it's ready to be made into a pizza. In the meantime, I believe we're gonna start on the cake. I'm gonna go talk to my culinary partner. Also, yes, be right back. Round two. All right, so pizza in the bread machine, ready to move on to step two. But before we move on to step two, there's one very important thing that I wanna teach all of you young cooking students about, and that's cleaning up after yourself. If you, as you may have been able to notice, I spilled a, a, a tiny bit of flour. So I'm gonna get a sponge and clean it up. Better to clean it up now than later. That's one of the nice things about being a responsible adult like me. Save yourself the work later by doing it now. Just genius psychology, life hack, whatever you want to call it. And cooking with melon has this happen fairly often. I have a tendency to uh, have ingredients meet up with my countertop. All righty. Um, let me zoom this back a little bit. Wait, I, the title should have been updated. It used to be League of Legends, but it has since been updated, hopefully. 
Thank you, though, for commenting. All right, so I'm getting ready for the cake. We're gonna make a chocolate cake. Wait, no, no, what? Uh. Really? It's supposed to be in a flower pot. What color did you think it was? All right, fine. You know what? Since I brought the Oreos, you can put Oreos on top to make it look like soil. No, but you're uh, weird. No, it can be a chocolate no, cake. No, no, you already made it. It doesn't. Plus. It doesn't have to taste good. It just has to look good. Jason. <laughs> That's the whole thing about cooking. It just, it's all about, uh, okay. <laughs> Lady Baltimore cake it is. Uh, <laughs> technical difficulties. <laughs> okay, so, here, before, we can give you guys some face action, uh, before we're ready to move on. <laughs> Alright, so. First, we'll we, make the pots. We can make chocolate cake. I just wanted an opportunity to explain to my chat on why you shouldn't make chocolate flavored anything. And the only thing worth about chocolate is chocolate itself. It's because fine. when you. <laughs> just so you guys know. I am six feet tall. He's six one. She has to say it every time. Alright. So our ice cream cakes are going to be little mini ones. Yeah, let's get let's get that nice shot of the uh, chocolate cake and the mold. Mmm, beautiful. There we go. So this mold we're going to use a couple of times. We're going to start off by coating them in chocolate because that'll be the pot. You want to snitch? Nope. I don't believe in snitching when you're cooking. It's very important to have priorities as well as to do things in a cleanly and sterile fashion. You just dropped a chocolate chip. Usually you don't need more than... Yeah, actually, I don't even want to give an estimate in case I'm wrong. But you're supposed to do it in small increments, only using seconds. We're going to start off with 20. Six, seven, wow. That is a bit tall. Mm. Scooch. Oh. I mean, why didn't you take the orange juice out? So that you could use it. You didn't use the one I took out, did you? No. <laughs> Couldn't find it. Oh my god. <laughs> Apparently you took it out with the rest of the stuff. What would I use orange juice for in pizza, Danny? You're gonna use it in the crust. That is crazy talk. Okay. As you can see, it's not quite melting, so we're gonna put it in for another 20 seconds. Hmm. All right. Not with the metal spoon. <laughs> Where'd my camera settings go? Done. Mm -hmm. Wow. I do not perform sexual activities on live. No. No, thank you. Yeah, let's let's turn down them. Oh yeah, real good right here. There we go. There we go. Now you can see. Oh wait. Nice and melted. I made it too dark instead of too light. Get that. Oh yeah, see that chocolate really good. Mmm, yum. Fantastic. So we're only gonna make two little mini cakes. Wait, it's upside down. Yeah, that's the point. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's gonna spill all over the countertop. No, yeah, that's what this little lip is for in the mold. Is that even a lip? Wow. Well, Alright. Danny knows what she's doing. Now it looks like you're the one that's trolling. <laughs> is this legitimate? Yes, this is legitimate. Or did you like find it on Pinterest or something? No. <laughs> All right, cool. Nice. Are we going to be able to get it off? Now that's always the kicker for me. <laughs> what? It doesn't 
It doesn't matter how hard I try, I always tend to have some kind of problem getting it off. I feel like this is integral to the plan. Well, I mean, that's the beauty of using silicone. Alrighty, so now that we've got these buttes going, we're going to go stick these in the freezer. Hmm. Okay. What's the next step? Start to making the cake. Oh. Excellent. Oh, I know why it looks like my webcam is so zoomed in. It's, it's super it, zoomed in? It's because it's really zoomed in. <laughs> Let me go ahead and get that fixed. Okay. Um, wait. Where is it? Um, wait, am I crazy? Mm -hmm. The zoom setting is not where it usually is. I would just restore it to defaults. That didn't do anything. Um, thanks, Dork. Wait, did it zoom out? No, I don't think it zoomed out. I think this is just exactly where it was. <laughs> uh, well, that's not it. Thanks, Grim. I love the apron, too. All right, maybe we just won't zoom out. It's usually on this page right here. Uh-oh, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, lubricating first can help you get it off. Indeed, I did move my stuff into the kitchen. I mean, my computer was out on the dining room table anyway while I was doing my repairs. This is, this is ridiculous. What happened? All right, whatever. It's not a crime to be zoomed in. You guys just get to see the awesome food that much in that much more detail. On our knees. <laughs> Hey, I have a really nice knee. Check this out, guys. Right here. Look at this nice, hairy knee. That's how a knee should be. Except for Danny. Your hairless knee is beautiful, Danny. My knee can be hairy when it wants to be. There you go. Where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait. Can we move it over here? OK. Here. To save space, I'm going to stack the bowls. No, I need two separate bowls. <laughs> so question, Danny, are you going to use the bowls like this? No. Hmm. Okay. Better to be too dark or too bright. Mm. Yeah. All right, so we're putting in some cake flour. Danny, mm. would you mind telling me what cake flour is and how does it differ from a standard all-purpose flour? <laughs> it has a finer crumb, and oh. if you know what a crumb is... Naturally, I do. <laughs> but for those of us in the viewing area who do not know what a finer crumb means, would you mind explaining that a little bit? Bakers use the term crumb to uh, describe the inside of a baked good or bread. So when you have something like sourdough, that tends to have a very spongy open crumb. Uh, if you're going to have a very fine, moist cake, you want to have a very fine, moist crumb. Well, if there's, which is what it says right there. Look at that. Well, if there's anything I like, it's fine, moist cake. So we've got that. Oh, 
Make them not days like cake. Uh, that's because it's barely begun. <laughs> 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 You big weirdo. That's what the apron's for. I don't mind. That was awful. Alright. So next, we're gonna add some baking soda or baking powder. powder. Wait, that was way more than a teaspoon. No. I mean, you had a mound going over it. When are you going to understand that cooking is an art? Cooking is an art, yes. So you should either use measuring tools accurately, or you should not use measuring tools and go with gut feelings. This 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 half and half thing is is what drives me bonkers. Unless you knew that you wanted slightly more than a teaspoon, and or uh, just using the teaspoon as a benchmark. Okay, I see, I see. You're just one step ahead of me. She knows what she's doing. Okay. This, is a, this is an integral part of the cooking process to give um, support behind the chief chef. Hey, thanks, Belly, for the cheer. Don't nag the Danny. I would never dream of it. Banning Thork sounds like a pretty good idea, though. Mm, what? What are you doing to my cat? He's not allowed <laughs> up there. Look, at he's scared. He knows he's going to get in trouble. <laughs> that is why we do not have children. Because you'd set them on the stove, too? What's wrong with setting a child on a stove? I wouldn't turn it on. You scared him. He knows he's not allowed up there. Well, I didn't know he wasn't allowed up yes, there. Yes, you did. I knew he wasn't allowed on the kitchen table. And? And that was about it. <laughs> All right, well, we learn things every day, summoners. All right, so what's, uh, what's the next step, Danny? And now I'm softening up the butter so that I can blend it with the sugar. Blending, is that like what sopranos don't do? Rude. <laughs> he said to his soprano wife. I'm just speaking facts. So what's the deal behind two bowls? Because um, actually there's going to be a third in a little bit. Because the way that you combine it, you have to do one at a time. That was about a quarter. But if you just put it all in together, it's together and you save a step. But then it won't be done right. So, would you say that some precision and separation is necessary? When I feel like it. Okay. Where's my whisk? Oh, well. I'll just use a fork. I didn't get all my cool, fancy cooking utensils until after I got married, so... I'm good using just a fork. Wait, we have like three whisks, don't we? We should have three whisks and we have a KitchenAid. Oh. Neato. Although, I guess technically it's two whisks and a pastry blender. If you're referring to this one. No. Because we have one huge whisk, one tiny one. Yeah, why don't you just use this one? Because that goes to the kitchen aid. I mean, it's still a whisk. Wouldn't it work? Mm, not as good as my fork. Hmm. Huh. So I think it's a, a good sign that my stream hasn't blown up yet, because my computer hasn't blown up yet. So apparently I couldn't have 
screwed it up that badly. There were a few cables that I didn't know where they were supposed to go. And then one of them, I boot up my computer and it just, nothing shows up on my monitor except for the text. Please plug in whatever cable to your video card. And I was like, oh, well, thank you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, PCI or PCE or something. Here's our little one of this. Yeah, thanks, Grandpa. Uh, probably, I have no idea. It might be in here. It's not where it goes, but it's anyone's guess in this kitchen. I uh, have this interesting uh, deal with Danny. It's not really a deal because she never agreed to it, but it's how things go. Um, I do the dishes, and then when I put them in, put them away, they go uh, wherever. <laughs> Sometimes it's a little hard to find things in this kitchen because you'd think I'd put them in the same place every time. And I try, but it doesn't always work out. Yeah, if you guys are ever starved for compliments, you should just be hot and then get blue hair. Because it's been doing wonders for Danny. She's got <laughs> she gets like 20 compliments every time we go out. And to be fair, the hair is, is very awesome. But, uh, yeah, apparently that's the way the world works. I mean, I, I, it's not that I do it on purpose. It's just I don't know where things go. And so I try to put them where I think they go, but apparently that changes every month or something. No, it really doesn't. Well, <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> <laughs> this is a very sanitary environment. Danny's just getting her juices ready. <laughs> All right. There were a lot of very interesting faces in the chat for that one. Not as interesting as mine. <laughs> That's true love right there. Give me a little. <laughs> and I just want to lick it up from the sink. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Okay, that is disgusting. <laughs> I'm gonna get some water. Danny, where's my water? I don't know, where'd you put it? Uh, that's not helpful. Well, it used to be on the table, but clearly it's not there anymore. Oh, here it is. Oh. Is this another thing you put out for me? No. Do you want me to put an extra vanilla for you? Yes, please. Vanilla is what makes the world go around. If you ever hear about like a, you know, something that's not working out or I don't know where I'm going with this. You should add vanilla. Okay. Excuse me, good sir. Uh, Alright, so now we got three containers. We've got the mashed potato container. It's butter and sugar. We've got the gravy container. That's milk and vanilla. And we have the cake mix container that tastes awful. It's flour, baking powder, and salt. So once you get the three containers, which are very important to keep separate because of reasons, you all of a sudden don't keep them separate anymore. Okay, <laughs> specifically going against the point I was trying to make. Where did the synergy go? You're supposed to add one after the other. But, okay. Never question a true chef. So I'm not questioning her as much as I might uh, while she's making this cake. And likewise, you guys should not question me when I make my pizzas. You don't question a master. A master can do no wrong. <laughs> That's a lie. Well, maybe. Oh, that smells pretty good. I think I just smell the vanilla. You just smell the vanilla. Maybe the sugar. Hmm. Ow, gross. <laughs> Did my nose hurt you? No, I'm all sweaty. <laughs> oh. 
convenient timing right after I said I was thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> All right, so we're getting this mixed in real good. What happens if you don't mix it in all the way? Uh, when you make the cake, you're gonna have spots filled with flour, which is just gross. All right, you do not want spots full of flour. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Danny? Whatever gnarly boy just said. <laughs> you're not helping, man. <laughs> all right. I have no filter every day, on stream anyway. I live with him, it's true. And Danny uh, likes to hear some interesting exclamations from a couple rooms over. <laughs> this is not a PG stream, especially with the hairy, hairy knees from earlier. All right. I wonder if this. What? All right. I'm trying to get the lighting right. It's either always dark or washed out. So is there a reason you don't use the uh, the machine thingy? Mm. Felt like doing it by hand. Doing it by hand. The real chef right here. I just tossed my stuff into the cooking thing or in the Get bread tree. machine, the bread machine, and let it go for an hour. Danny is putting in heart and soul into this cake, which is noticeably lacking a little bit of the ice cream. But we'll uh, that let that in the freezer. Let that pass for now. Meanwhile, I'm gonna check on the progress of our little chocolate cups. Don't put your fingers on them. He put his fingers on them. It's very hard. Now we have something in co Never mind. <laughs> the, the chocolate has hardened quite quickly. And I think, uh, I think we're in a good spot. I didn't say anything. You almost did. Man, you guys are reading into what I'm saying. You want me to do the dishes? I would love that. All right. Dishmaster Melon. You know, gnarly boy, I tell you, but I think the only person who can really help you out is one of my sisters, and I'm pretty sure that they'll tell you you can't. Can't what? Uh, he wanted to know, how do I unhear these things? <laughs> right? Aaron and Erica would be the best people to ask about that. If they knew. <laughs> if anybody knew, it'd be them. Yeah. They wish they knew. <laughs> hey, Native Robot, thanks so much for the subscri subscription. Really appreciate it. That is very kind. Okay. So now the main part of the batter is done. Wait, are we gonna are we gonna give it a little more visual flavor? Uh, we will, but it's not done yet. Okay, just gotta make sure. I don't want to skip anything. Okay, next I gotta get three egg whites. Oh, not that bad. Hmm, much better than the cake mix you used earlier. Wait, so, I, I did not contaminate the dough. I just, uh... Watch out. Yeah. Had to, uh, ex uh... I got nothing, Danny. What did I have to do? I'm not making up your excuses for you. Wait, Danny, you... What the heck? Are you playing with your food? No, we just want the egg whites. Racist. Wait, why don't you just put the whole egg in and just scoop the yolk out? Because this way it's easier. Oh. Nice. I think it's kind of gross that after you put in the whites, you're slurping up the yolk. 
<laughs> Nasty. I noticed that you do it off stream, though. I'm not slurping anything. If they could hear me do that stupid spit, they'd be able to hear me slurping egg shots. <laughs> hmm. There we go. Danny doesn't roll her eyes very often. A lot of times when I make good jokes, you might roll your eyes, but Danny kind of does this thing where she opens her mouth and she laughs in support of my hilarity. In one big laugh. Ha! <laughs> yup. Some people say her real laugh sounds fake, but... No, that's you. I, I know it's actually real. What's the point of beating an egg if it's only the egg white? You don't usually beat an egg to get the yolk instead. Sometimes. Your hand kind of looks like mine. Tell her, Alamina. I tried to stop her, but she wouldn't have any of it. You should see what she does with the cat. Uh, if anybody attacks that poor little kitty, it's you. Wait. I am so nice to that cat. All I do is sometimes throw him into the air. He lands on his feet, though. It's kind of like training, you know? The, the why do we fall, Bruce thing. I learned that from Batman. but I'm teaching the cat. Mm-hmm. Are your nails actually long? Of course. Oh. There you go. I use them at work. Yeah, when sometimes... For those of you don't, who don't know, Danny works at a uh, bridal alterations shop. Is that correct? It's a bridal boutique. Close mm -hmm. enough. All right, bridal <laughs> boutique. And she does a lot of alterations. So sometimes the people who... As you may or may not know, sometimes people who are about to get married have very interesting personalities, expectations, uh, things like that. So Danny keeps her nails nice and long uh, if she uh, ever needs to defend herself from no. some of the more aggressive clients. No. Either that or it has something to do with actually doing her job. Okay, we're going to get out one of our pretty platters. Whoa, 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 whoa. We didn't really discuss this before the stream started. <laughs> so, here's what we need, guys. I need you guys to vote in chat. Wait, there's three of them. And I'm not going to tell you whether we're going to use my platters or Danny's platters, all right? And you have to say whether it's ugly or not, okay? So they might be my platters, they might be Danny's platters. And you guys be the boss, all right? Do you even know where yours is? Wait. That's the point. They haven't seen anything yet. Where's yours? I don't know. I don't know. I don't oh my goodness. goodness. Danny's ruining the magic. They haven't seen anything yet. We're not going to show them both. We're just going to show them one. It's not a comparison. It's just, is this ugly? Well, here's yours. Alright. Somebody should, uh, somebody should either start a poll or you guys can scream in chat. Okay, so are these the two options? No, we're going to show all three. All three? I'll hold the other one. But two of them are ugly. <laughs> Alright, so Here, you, guys, like... you guys have to vote on number one, number two, and number three in no particular order. So here's platter number one. Here's platter number two. And here is platter number three. Okay? 
So what I need you guys to do is the least ugly one, two, or three. So this is platter number one, platter number two, platter number three. Okay? So you guys are gonna vote and we will let Twitch chat decide and both of us will completely respect whatever decision Twitch chat will we though? Oh we we will undoubtedly <laughs> respect. Alright, so let's see let's see uh you want me to get a tally? No, you, got, you guys actually have to click on it, I think. I don't think you can use the command. I think you have to open it up in the browser. But it looks like there's some ones, there's some twos, there's some threes. But you know what? Actually, this is not going to work. We're not, <laughs> <laughs> we're, not, we're not getting any votes done. Yes, yes, yes. They chose the good one because this is Bone China. No, we're not <laughs> this is Corel. We're not going to get a good result here. This is a, a flawed experiment. We're going to have to figure out some other way to figure out this discussion. But thank you guys for trying. I do appreciate it. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, only so much you can do. You know what I'm saying? Alright, just so you know, Danny, I went into the straw poll and it was very clear. One was the this was the least ugly, and then mine, and then the yellow one. The yellow one's the most ugly. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Can I show you? Okay. Oh, okay. Alright. Ah, Jason! So you guys remember those <laughs> those chocolate things we were dealing with? Well now. We are putting them back, and they are not going to break. Hopefully. Ah, yay! Fantastic. Check that out. Perfection right there. Except we do need to separate them into two different ones. All right. So hopefully I don't kill anything. Yeah, I can do it for oh, you. Okay. I'm very good at breaking things. No, I don't want them broken. <laughs> oh. Okay. Hey, that actually turned out pretty good. They do look pretty good. All right, we're putting them back in the freezer because they're already getting melted in this crazy hot apartment. <laughs> yeah. We have our AC on, but uh, it's never reached the point that we've set it. I think it's probably something about like 82 or something right now in here. Like so it gets a little toasty. And what's interesting is that... Um, the uh, half of the house is warm at any point in the day, whatever whatever side the sun is on. And unfortunately, the sun is right, right there. So if we were in our bedroom, it'd be nice and cool. No, I'd, it'd still be hot if we were both in the bedroom. But <laughs> but in my office, it's going to be a lot cooler now than uh, other is stuff. You usually stream. And yeah, Elamina, we usually are so. I don't know if that's PG or not, but <laughs> it's the truth. I clearly made a huge amount of cake batter. So just in case I screw one of these guys up, we'll have extras. Yeah, the house can't the house won't drop below eighty, even with the AC always on. Oh I'm sorry, you wanted to add color. It's fine. Okay. The air doesn't really stop until the night. And even at night, it's like in the high 80s or low 90s. It's pretty uh, pretty warm here in Vegas. I think it was 113 today as a high. Yeah. It's the lows that are really obnoxious to me, though. <laughs> 92. Wait, aren't those all just going to explode when we cook them? They're going to come up, but we're going to be cutting them up anyways. Oh, okay. But don't worry, guys. We have fantastic winters. They're very nice. That is true. I love Vegas winters. Unfortunately, you have to get through the summer to get there. Well, technically, we started at the winter when we got here. So the real problem with this whole cooking stream idea is that in making the pizzas, and presumably the cake as well, it requires an oven, which tends to raise the temperature a bit. 
So it's going to get even warmer here. Here, I'm going to stick this on a stone. All right, how much is left in this portion of the cake cooking? Um, it'll take about, wait, let me double check. It'll take about 20, 25 minutes. From now? From now. <laughs> you should put the cake outside in the sun, Jonathan says. <laughs> Or whatever that word is. Oh, right. so I shouldn't put it on the stone if we're going to be making the pizzas? No, you should. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. And I mean, we're not going to be able to cook three things at once anyway. Fair enough. We'll just put the pizzas in when the cake comes out. Sounds good. All right. Excellent. So, next step is pizza time. But, my good friends, very important. Before you move on to the next step of cooking, to do some moderate cleaning, tis the responsible way. Of course, the pizza making is going to make a huge mess anyway, but you know you got to get what you can take, what you can get. Now this is the stream. This is the part of the stream where I know everyone lost some sleep over due to excitement of course not horror <laughs> and you guys are going to be rewarded for your patience ow you okay ow so after i wash my hands i do this to flick the water off of them but i flicked my fingernails into a bowl and it hurt maybe not the Best decision I've ever made. All right. The sub emotes are currently bit, um, in progress. They should be done this week sometime. Sorry about that. But hopefully soon. All right. Oh, I see what you mean. Because you're not going to be able to make the pizza if it's on the stone. Yep. Could we just put it on a baking sheet? Uh, that? Yeah. We sh it doesn't even need a baking sheet or a stone. I just want to do it so it'd be easier to take out. Do we have a baking sheet? No. <laughs> yep. Do you have anything? I mean, we could put it in on one of like the square things, but it, it doesn't need one. We could put it on the frying pan. Wouldn't that work? How about I just slide the stone out? Okay. We're gonna i going to need that pizza stone for the pizza. Danny's doing some hopefully not questionable maneuver to not spill cake over our entire oven. Oh man, hands of a master. Check that out. Beautiful. Excellent, excellent. All right, so next up is the pizza. Now it would be really nice if I could figure out how to unzoom this stupid webcam. So give me one more second to try to figure this out. Zoom in the webcam more. Yeah, sure. Nice. Oops. Uh, all right. Whatever. We'll just do it the old-fashioned way. Wait, Danny, are you not gonna? You do you not want to make a pizza? I do. Okay. All right. So let's get out the dough. The real moment of truth right here. If I make mine right here, she can make hers right here, and maybe <laughs> we'll be able to see both of them. Let's get the dough. You guys are in for a treat. It looks really nice.
Check this out, guys. Your dreams shall come true. This is, it's like taffy. You know, that's how you prepare it. Just gotta stretch it over and over again or something. Here's some of your dough. I think you can have a little more, though. Alright. So. Really wish the webcam weren't so washed out. This is a really rich color, but it's kind of hard to see there. It looks all brown. Yeah. All right, so. What we're gonna do is use what I call the magician's touch. You just kind of plop it down, see what happens. So. Spread it out, and this is where I really show you the need to be delicate. Stretching out a pizza is really all about it's give and take, it's like a relationship where I am me, and the pizza is somebody else. So it looks pretty good. I don't actually ever spray the stone because it never sticks anyway, so I don't care. But now some people focus really on getting a perfectly round pizza, but I don't care if my pizza's round. I just want it to have good stuff on it. So this, this somewhat questionable shape it's in right now, that's probably how I'm gonna eat it. But my pizzas are always way too thick, so we're gonna make it a little extra spread out. Hmm. That looks pretty good. Nice and it's got some character, you know? If everything looked like a supermodel, this world would be a boring place. So that's why we have this pizza here. There we go. Alright, that looks pretty good. Right, Danny? Beautiful. Yeah. All right. So, step two, we could, well, we could do a couple of things. Sometimes I put cheese in the crust, but uh, honestly, I will be. that sounds like too much work right now. So I think I'm going to skip straight to the saucing phase. Oh, that's awesome, Native. Mm. I like going out for pizza, but I usually go to like a different pizza place every time just to try to get some nice variety. All right, let's get saucing. So usually my sauce gets moldy, and and so I just use it until it's moldy. But this sauce has like flecks of garlic, so it already has white flecks in it anyway. So I never know whether it's moldy or, or not. So we're just gonna, uh, hold on. I'm gonna open this, but I don't wanna hit Danny in the head, so I'm gonna wait a second. I'm gonna make some bacon, you want some? No, thank you. Yes, please. So. I'll let you guys decide. We good to go here? Jason, you've only had it for a week. No, it's been a while, actually. Really? Yeah. All right, it looks good. Uh, it doesn't smell bad. <laughs> actually, it does, but honestly, I think all sauce smells bad, so I can't tell whether it's like moldy smells bad or like actually bad. If it smells alcoholic, it's bad. Oh, I hate the smell of sauce. All right, so that's step one, is adding the Bertoli organic olive oil, basil, and garlic sauce. Next step is adding some tapatillo. Give it some character. Hmm. That is a good idea, Elamina.
Give it some nice spicy flavor here. <laughs> I would not put it past me, Cinnamon. So, have this thing squirt out until it won't squirt anymore. And, uh, that should be good. Now the third part of the sauce that we're gonna need is, you bet, you know, some, some color, all right? Oh, oh, I'm really thirsty. And Wally Waffles called it correctly. We are gonna make some black sauce, all right? Yep. Hi, Christopher. So it really only needs a little bit. Again, we should take off the the cap thing before. One of the best ways to put on food coloring is by removing the cap. Got a little bit on my thumb, so we're just gonna put that on the uh, that there pizza. Excuse me. I have two siblings, uh, by from my mother. That is. <laughs> I also have a sister-in-law. One. I have. <laughs> Wait. Technically, my sisters are also your sisters-in-law. Oh, I have. <laughs> uh, apparently, Danny has sisters too. All right, learn learn new things every day. All right. Good thing they're at Disneyland and not watching her. They'd be offended. Oh, yeah. Smooth it in real nice there. Mmm, getting a really nice swirl of color right here. I don't know if you guys have ever been to Disneyland, but they've got a really cool, boring show called World of Color. Did you just say boring? Uh, I said cool. This is kind of like the same thing. Mmm. This looks so good. And it tastes as good, if not better, than it looks. Check this out. This is fantastic. Wait, what happened to your appetite, Elamina? This looks good. Here, maybe. I, I grossed her out when I had to cough. Maybe you can't see it well enough. How about this? Can you see it better? Can you see it better yet? So you don't think it's gross if you can see it, right? Check that out. Ah, all right. So next wait, wait, up. Wait, wait, I want to show yours up real quick. So that's Look at how beautiful that's that is. Danny's right here. It's it's mediocre, I'd say. Cheese stuffed crust, baby. Um. <laughs> Yeah, see, look at all that, those gross faces my chat is putting. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Wait! <laughs> you guys are trolling me, alright? So, alright, we're good. Now we have to get this, we have to get the cheese. I have it right here. Alright, so now the most important thing about the cheese, and this has happened to me before, so I don't want anyone making fun of me or thinking I'm trolling, is to verify that it is not... <laughs> I haven't finished yet! What are you laughing it's at? It's so funny, because I know what he's going to say. <laughs> so, you have to verify that it's not hash browns, because hash browns look a lot like mozzarella cheese, alright? And that can really bite you in the butt. <laughs> Oh, Christopher said he'd eat your pizza, bro. Thanks, bro. Um, are you gonna have colored cheese or? I don't care. You don't mind if I color mine? Of course not. All right, so oh. we're, we're gonna get some colored cheese. I smelled it burning. It's because it exploded. I was like, oh no! Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. I didn't say you weren't wrong. <laughs> All right, so. Royal blue is going to go in the cheese. All right. You guys are in for a treat. Yeah, I don't remember which of my brothers gave me the food coloring, but somebody did. 
And I, I, although I just found out that I opened the unopened one instead of using the one that was already opened, that's why they're all... Shut? Not all of them. I'm pretty sure I used a purple. Oh. All right. So, what we're going to do is... Here, I have to put this in the back. I'm going to move my pizza to the side, and let's prep the cheese. All right. So just get a little bit of color. Actually, we should put the top on so it doesn't all come glomping out. That would probably not be ideal. All right. Just give it a few squirts. Ah, uh, yeah. Seal up the bag. And shake it all about. Wait. Oh, here's some of it. Um, hold on. Maybe the should actually get the air out first. Hmm. Here, while you're doing that, I was shoving my lack of sauce. Oh yeah, Danny does not use sauce on her pizzas. So I'm a weirdo. I only use white sauce or no sauce, and I felt like a no sauce today. So I put pepperoni on the bottom, then my cheese, then my mushrooms, and then my bacon. All right, let's get it all mixed in real good. Starting to look pretty nice. Ah, oh, yeah. I'm gonna get it nice and mixed in. Danny might be catching that house on fire. If the stream, <laughs> if the stream cuts off, you guys know who to call. Well, one of you has my address, at least. Oh yeah, this is starting to look really good. Uh, Dan Angry Turtle White Sauce is either a um. A mozzarella sauce, a parmesan sauce, or, um, or an alfredo sauce. Basically a non-marinara sauce. Hmm. All right. That should be good. Let's move on to the next phase. All right. Oh, yeah. And I do like a large amount of cheese, so we're gonna lay it on thick. Let me know when you're done. Oh, it's spilling. Mmm. Super cheese. Are you gonna put bacon on before you forget? Nah, uh, maybe. In a perfect world, I would. No, we need way more sauce. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're not Can done. Can I finish? Of course. Thanks. Sorry. I just thought you were done. All right. I've made an alf uh, chicken Alfredo pizza before. That was actually really good. Although, I've also made a chicken Alfredo pizza when the Alfredo sauce was bad, and that was not good. I think that was my 24-hour stream, one of them, and I was a bit sick afterwards. Not like super sick, but sick like I ate something that I probably should not have, if you guys can believe it. All right, so pizza's starting to look really good. I'm going to wash my hands real quick because uh, they're gross. And yeah, it's starting to look really nice here. All right. So next up, we're going to out. This is hot. I, yeah. Out. This is hot. Out. Still hot. Out. All right, maybe we're just going to add some bacon here. Very crispy, out, crunchy bacon. Uh, it is just a clump of cheese, yeah. This 
this is so you know what i'm gonna do this when it cools down that's a good idea no we're gonna put some pepperoni cut it with a knife that's one way of doing it not the way i'm gonna pursue but you know it could work <laughs> yeah i used to do a lot more pizza streams robot but uh that's because my computer used to be right next to my kitchen but now i have my own office and i don't want to cook in my office I like carpet and stuff uh so i haven't been doing it but i thought it'd be really fun to do one together and then i was like oh maybe i should cook a dessert jason too. do you want me to crumble up your bacon too no i'll be good and i was like oh maybe danny wants to do it so i asked danny and she was on board so that is the story of today nice and pepperoni -y. there we go right, hopefully it has cooled down by now <laughs> I don't know if I'm exactly representative of my country <laughs> but this is almost red white and blue it's pink blue red and black that's close okay this cake is done <sighs> <laughs> so as you guys can see our cake exploded a little bit just a lot so uh wait can we get a nice spotlight for the stream or is it too hot check this out guys um the corners are a little burnt and the corners are also non-existent a bit but yeah here it is work in progress all right next up we're going to add some basil i think is this what this is that's what that is do i sprinkle it with my fingers sprinkle it with your fingers oh it smells so good really best if you get basil leaves but those don't last as long so we have crushed basil leaves i think lightly dried how about that that's what it says oh so strong really yummy all right a couple more steps parmesan cheese is going to be pretty important and i purposely spill with the parmesan cheese because i mostly like it on the crust uh, so It nice and firm on the back get it to sprinkle out I don't want to get it on the floor though there we go real nice right there and lo and behold the pizza is ready to go in the oven feast your eyes on this culinary and creative beauty right there mmm check that out keep you guys posted Oh, this oven's so hot. Oh, that's what happens when you bake. Oh. So before I stick mine in, I guess I will show mine off as well, since you said this was a competition. Yes. It is a so competition. mine is my cheese stuffed crust, no sauce, pepperoni, cheese, mushrooms, bacon, basil, garlic salt, Parmesan cheese. All right. So they're going to go in the oven for about 20 minutes, and then you guys will get to see the final product. Are you ready to get these uh, cakes going? Wait, we can't do it now, can we? Well, we can cut off the excess. Okay, yeah. And there's a couple of other steps we gotta do to make the flour part. The flour part? I thought we put flour in the cake already. No, remember, because we're gonna make it a little flour growing out of a flower pot. Oh, we're gonna make a flour growing out of a flower pot. Well, like, we're gonna try. Like Zyra. I said we're gonna try. Because <laughs> I cannot guarantee this will come out well. All right. Okay. Oh, I'm an idiot. I should have just turned my computer around and cooked on the, the bar place. Then the camera wouldn't have to be tilted. And they get, oh my goodness, gnarly, thank you so much. Wait, what? No, refund that donation right now. Why? What happened? Gnarly donated and wrote, this is so you can order a pizza to eat, Melon. <laughs> Cold. 
<laughs> Thank you for the donation, but oh man. Can you move that over here? Here, let me actually clean the counter. I do appreciate it. But not as much as I otherwise would. Alright, we want to clean this up so we can... Uh... Alright, so the next phase of the cooking stream is going to be trimming the cakes a little bit. They are a bit... They've got a muffin top, to say the least. And not like a muffin top, like I could lose a little weight. Muffin top as if I'm 500 pounds. And they're wearing skinny jeans. Kind of muffin top. So, body shaming, Jason. Body shaming. You heard it here first. Body shaming a cake. So let's get it ready. First, let's see if, again, I can do this without breaking what I'm supposed to be molding. Watch here, guys. Fortunately, I really, really suck at this. And if you're watching this on YouTube, put it in slow motion. Watch the, the, the sheer care and technique that she uses to remove the cakes from the pan. It's still too hot. Okay, it's still too hot. We can put it in the freezer. Uh, how about the fridge? Cool it down real quick. Yeah. Okay. Well, then while we wait, we can melt some chocolate and dip some cookies. How about that? Um, what? Oh yeah, see that beautiful light right here? It's not so bright. I got self-conscious about my knees. I had to put the webcam up. <laughs> Although now you can't read the chat overlay, so there is that. Oh, I put my butt up against the oven and it's very hot. I'm gonna move. It's a bit toasty in here right now. Will you get me? Let's find a happy medium, maybe. Three bowls. Give me a OK. Three bowls coming right up. I think so. No, no, bowls. These are bowls? Those are cups. These are bowls, right? What is a cup if not just a bowl. Well, these might even be too big. Um, yeah, I'll get them. Thank you. Nailed it. <laughs> First try. So we're going to make some green chocolate. And then what color do you want your flowers to be? Um, red. Red. So we'll do some red chocolate. And we'll crush up some Oreos. Still hot. Can you bring them over here, Dean? Maybe see that far, but best to have them over here, I think. This is a knee stream once again. Why do we have Oreos? Now it's not a skylight, it's just a light, but obviously my computer thinks it's very, very bright. So we don't actually have the cool like mortar or pestle thing, so we're gonna use a vegetable peeler <laughs> handle. No oh, wait, now I made it. And too a bright. regular cereal bowl to crunch up the Oreos. So we're making flowers out of Oreo cookies? Mm hmm Huh. Well, this is the, gonna be the soil part. Ah. Very nice. Why does the soil have white stuff in it? Just like regular soil. When you go to buy potting soil, it has little bits of plant food and fertilizer in it. Oh, worm casings. Oh man. Next level right there. I don't know. I need a huge mess. 
I'll clean it up for you. <laughs> so that's going to be our soil. Yeah, this is a plant stream now, guys. Mm. Oh, it's not that bad. We make good food. Well, we'll see if it looks pretty. Well, say what you want about your food, but I know my pizza at least looks pretty. Ah. Mm. Uh. Jason? You bet I'm going to make some flowers. So this is the grass we're going to put on top of our soil. I know it doesn't look like grass. It looks like candy shred, but it's grass, apparently. Unless we're making believe. Pretending. This right here is our very, very bright, reflective chocolate. I'm going to get them all colored. Ah. Hey, kittens. Here, you want to do one? You can get a green one. No, I don't see a green one. It's white right now. Oh. Alright, is this good? Mm -hmm. it, heat it not, not. How do I know if it's good or not? Mix it up. Oh, I need the food coloring first, or do I mix it first? Mix it first to make sure it's fully melted. Mmm. Oh, do yeah. Do dark green or light green? They are indeed cats on my apron. You know what this no, one I says? Wanted, I wanted leaf red. green. No, for, oh, you want to do the red? No. Okay. All right. Some nice, oh, this one's already open. Neato. Yeah, I agree, turtle. But what can you do? Sometimes you have to make sacrifices. He said white chocolate isn't chocolate. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, we're going to need a little bit more to unpinkify it. Yeah, it should be good. Hmm. A chef's touch, like only melon could provide. Maybe it's just going to be pink. I don't want to put like 10 pounds of food coloring in it. Nicole. All right, pink's not a bad color. Check that out. All of its glory. All right, what do I do with this? You're going to coat these Oreos. So I just dip the Oreos in the... And you can use the spoon to kind of smooth it out. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to... Wait, these are like the thinnest Oreos I've ever seen in my life. That's the point. Like, not even Oreos anymore. <laughs> do these even exist? Yeah, yeah, I bought them. All right, do I... S both sides or only one side? Just top, uh, topped off? You, I guess it depends on if you want your flower pretty from all angles or not. Um... How do I do that? Uh, here. I think I need a more delicate tool. Like a... Uh, this'll do. How about... Get them out of control. I don't know what this is supposed to look like. I don't know what this is going to be. It's going to be petals. Oh, okay. You using a screwdriver? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was trying to find something to use, and you know what? This is not working so well. Just maybe put it in there real good, and uh, maybe that'll be okay. There we go. You don't need to know, Grandpa. <laughs> this is... Danny, this is not working. Uh, well, sh shucks. 
Dag nabbit. Um, hmm. A butter knife. That's not a. That doesn't sound like a bad idea. Okay, let's retire the screwdriver. Hmm. No, oh, you. That is still white chocolate. All right. Oh yeah, this is nice. I mean, I still don't know how to use it, but it feels better. You know what? Whatever. Doesn't matter what Zyra looks like as long as they're dead. That's part of the Thorns code. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh no, my chocolate came out too hard. Hmm. You're gonna have some of mine. Yours is in green. No. Danny, I'm not very good at this. Well, mine's not much better. You're right. Well. <laughs> hey, come on, turtle. <laughs> Don't be like that. He says, Danny, please remove Melon from the kitchen. Why do I like him? Oh. True love wins again. I mean, these are embarrassing, but... <laughs> I um, ruined my chocolate, guys. That's beautiful, Danny. No, I ruined it. Yeah, the knife was a great choice. Thank you. Is it too dark if I do this? Obviously, it's too dark right now. But if I get the uh, if I get the webcam settings fixed, I feel like this is better. Huh. It is kind of like a green taquito. It's so bad. Huh. I put my chocolate in the microwave for too long and it made it too hard. Well, you know what I always say, Danny? Better too hard than too soft. <laughs> Alright. These are not going to have frosting on the side. Why would I put the? Why would I turn the lights off and the pizza comes out? That'll be a glorious moment. Sorry, I'm gonna scooch this. Just hmm. We're having. Wait, why didn't we use frosting for this instead of melted white chocolate? Because frosting is nasty. Frosting is so much better than white chocolate. Are Are you for real? Yeah, I hate frosting. Well, I know that, but, but white chocolate. I love white chocolate. Oh, that's nice. Oh no, I broke the cookie. All right, there you go. This is good, good enough. That's my motto, that's my cooking motto. <sighs> All right, so the, the stems are a little questionable right now. The, the flowers are a little questionable right now, but questionable plus questionable is perfection. Naturally. I wonder if this would help now. No, it's too reflective. All right. So Danny's making some green flowers now. You know, this page get a leaf. Oh, there are leaves. Check this out, guys. They're not pretty, I'm sorry. Huh. Expectation versus reality. Mmm. Mmm. Zyra skills also transfer the kitchen. Can confirm. In fact, they transfer to a lot of places. Isn't that right, Danny? I don't know what you're referring to. Okay. <laughs> Oh, the cat's back in here. I promise he is not dead. He is simply lying down. Although he often appears dead 
while lying down. Understand any possible confusion. But look, his tail wags like a dog because he's happy. So we're good. Danny, what are the stems made from? Pirouette cookies. Pirouette cookies, there we go. Wait, I don't actually even know. I haven't been keeping track of time when the pizza is supposed to come. Well, why don't you take a peek at him? Take a peek. A peek. A peek. A peek. <laughs> See what I did there? I turned a peek into a pizza pun. Oh, it's not even close. Gotta get it nice and crunchy. Well, we can try the cake. Can I move this to a different location? Yeah, you can go ahead and set it over by the Keurig. Um, is this all gonna fall over onto the ground? Well, oh, not. Uh. Ooh, man! Oh, oh! <laughs> it started falling. <laughs> Saved it though. Right. See if I can get this to work with me. All right. Moment. Momento de verdad. Oh, beautiful. Some are okay. By some, I mean one so far. B E A, beautiful. Okay. Oh, this is why I love silicone. Is silicone the stuff that people use for fake boobs? Yes, as a matter of fact, they are. Wow, I kind of only ruined one. Kind of only ruined one. That's what I want to hear. That's a new record. Let's check things out, shall we? Good. Ah, hey, I'm busy. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Hmm. Okay. Here's one. Let's turn the, uh... Oh, why didn't I do this before? Do what? This looks much better. Except for your arm, which is very, very bright. Ooh, there we go. Look at that one. Mm. That one came out good. Yummy. Mm. <laughs> mm. We are indeed baking cakes and fake boobs. You already hear, turtle. Verbatim. Pretty good, but so far that one's the best. Because the only thing that really matters is the side. Actually, we're not going to see any of this cake because the the bottom is going to be covered in the chocolate and the top is going to be covered in everything else. Yep. So really, even if it didn't look good, we'd be A-OK. -okay. It's true. Doesn't it just give you, like, feeling of pride? Well, I didn't, I, didn't make, I didn't make it, so... Bam! These are the two we're going to use. We we're only making two? We only have two holders. Oh. I did this because I knew some of them would get messed up. Oh, I see. Thinking ahead. Okay, so next, we're going to cut off a piece, or we're going to cut these two in half, or maybe not half. Is that half, Jason? Wait, why are we cutting in half? So that we can put ice cream in between them. It depends. Do you mean half vertically or half volumetically? Half this way. What? <laughs> <laughs> this... <laughs> That is not a valid metric. You know what I meant. Halfway up to the top? I want to cut it like this. That's horizontally. Good. Is that half where I was? <laughs> you know what? I'm not asking you anymore. What? Okay. It's beautiful. Thank you. There's a fancy word for shapes like that, but I forgot what it was. It's like the the trapezoid of c cylinders. Trapezoid is to a rectangle as these are to cylinders. 
But I forgot what it's called. I'm not so good with geometry. All right, and then we got the, uh, the chocolate shells. Well, let's, let's turn it up again. Let's get real in-depth here. Oh, it's going to break. Oh. Did it break? Yeah. Okay. So this one is going to be a very full flower pot over here. Mmm, full flower pot. That's what I want to see. Okay. Feel the thorns embrace. Put some ice cream in. What kind of ice cream? The Tonight Dope by Ben and Jerry's. Oh, ruined. That's okay. That's okay. It doesn't have to taste good. Rude! Stubby cones. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Oh, the pizza might be getting close to done. Oh, yeah, pizza's done. Oh, Alright, so we put in a layer of ice cream. And we're gonna replace the top here. Just make sure it fits in nice. Probably really fast, but that's why we're gonna stick it right back in the freezer. <laughs> That might be done soonish. Okay. I don't think it's done yet, though. I'll make sure that fits in there real nice and flat. We'll show you guys the pizza once Danny's done with this. I have a feeling that this isn't going to look the way I wanted, but at the very least, I will know it will taste amazing. So, looking pretty good, I have to admit. I, uh, for whatever reason, I thought these little guys would be bigger, but they are not. So we're going to we're gonna top our dessert off with some soil. It feels really dark in here. Let's open the sun. That's better, right? Oh, yeah, that's way better. I mean, it's really, really glary out here, but besides that, we should be good now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> These are not going to be pretty. I thought they would be, but they are not. Hold on. I'm going to cut in line real quick. Check this out, everyone. The pizza of dreams. The pizza of destiny. The pizza of ascension. If you want to meet God, eat this slice of pizza, and you will go on high. So yummy looking. Check it out. Huh, feel good. We're gonna put the cakes in the fridge, or freezer, sorry, so that the ice cream won't melt. We're gonna put these guys out of the way. I'm gonna get a picture of that craigasmic pizza. <laughs> Where's my phone? I do not know. You don't know where any of my stuff that I put places is. Weird. Now I'm gonna take out my pizza. Guess I might as well stick that there. Tonight dough is delicious. It's my new favorite ice cream because it's got like three different kinds of cookie dough in it. All right, I can confirm that my phone is not in the locations that I checked. Woo, I've enough. Yeah, that's actually really nice. Alright, hold the fort, Danny. Okay, I'm gonna try and put together these flowers. Um, unfortunately I just I just don't see it working out, but we're gonna try anyways. Oh. Yeah, I just you just don't know how this is gonna work, but we can do this. That's the kind of positive thinking that I use in my League of Legends games. <laughs> it will probably end the same way. Yay! <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can't do this. So we're going to put a little blob here. going to use it like glue. We're going to add the leaves. I'm going to have to move these a bit.
Oh wait, I can't see Danny. Huh? Oh. I don't think I can move it without moving the pizza. Well, you probably should move the pizza, right? It's hot. <laughs> you have the, um, oh, here's the Give me a second. Sorry, I'm moving, I'm moving. Yeah. Oh, got my pizza out of the way. So you can see my sham of some flowers being made. So far they have little Oreos' leaves on them. Oh, it's too bright again. Okay, I'm gonna do another little blob of chocolate here to add the petals. I'm gonna uh, show you guys a picture of my pizza in chat. Uh, no, I don't want a Mountain Dew commercial. Say something in Melon's chat. Paste. Ooh, okay, so here's our flower over here. It's kind of reflective with the foil, so I don't think you can actually see it. But, uh, we're trying. Uh, yeah, really running into some lighting issues. I wish the sun would go away. That would be nice. Although I wish that for multiple reasons. <laughs> Maybe our little flower pots haven't sprouted yet because these flowers are kind of awful. But that's what they look like! <laughs> I don't even think I'm going to be able to take them off of the foil. Wait, Just stick them into the cake. Why don't we put them on the cake and then put the leaves on? Because the, they've got to freeze the chocolate. Oh. So. But doesn't the cake also have to freeze? Yeah. Check that beautiful flower. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're bad, I know. Um. Yeah, wait, no, no, no. I can fix this. So instead of doing flower pots, they're going to be sprout pots. Okay? Hang, hang with me. I can do this. I can make this work. Hope you guys are ready to see the save of your lives. So we're gonna pretend those flowers aren't there because um, frankly they're disappointing. They worked a lot better in my head. Okay, there's our little flower pots with their little bit of soil. Gonna pull a little bit of grass on that. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Kittens, I don't wanna put the cat on my food, okay? Okay. I'm not a cat eater. So we'll just say that it just started sprouting. Feel the thorns embrace. And we'll have a little worm come out. Oh my word. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> that is pretty good. Good idea, Danny. Hey, there. welcome back, Grim. I fixed it. <laughs> there we go. Ice cream. Oh, it's kind of sour. Woo! So, it's frozen chocolate. A frozen chocolate cup with an ice cream cake in the middle with Oreos on top and then green grass and a little gummy worm. Danny showing us her cooking mechanics. Next level game knowledge right here. Did you already show them your pizza? Uh, it was on screen. I didn't like. Oh, we oh we got a showcase. All right. Check this out. The Danny pizza. Pretty good. It's no melon pizza, but let's be honest, she's no melon herself. But uh, a work of art, nonetheless. Feels good, man. Still a nice healthy dose of color. <laughs> All right. 
Oh my word. Okay, we're having some uh, lighting difficulties. Oh, it's better if it's like this. There we go. All right, is that it for uh, the cooking, Danny? That's it. Shall we give them some kind of finale? Like what? Do you want to sing? My voice is so crappy right now, what would I even say? My voice is crappy all the time. <laughs> all right. Should, should if they can come up with a song that I would like doing, I'll sing. All right, you guys heard it. You have to make a decision. It is in your hands now. If the Danny sing happens or not. No, she's not going to be able to do that one, I think. If her voice is not good right now, which one? Mm, a song about food. Yeah. I've got that covered. Do you have a song about food? I do. <coughs> do I know it? All right. So i got to get some settings ready real quick, guys. You did not answer my question. Do I know it? And then we'll sing together. I'm not doing pie day. <laughs> All right. Danny's a little worried. Um, here, I'm going to mute the mic because this is going to be loud. All right, Danny says she doesn't want to sing, but uh, she won't regret this. All right. Hope you guys are ready. We're going to give a nice cooking song to go with our fantastic... Wait, we can't sing along to a song. I have no speakers. <laughs> Darn. All right. Uh, it's going to have to be a cappella. I'm not singing this song. <laughs> All right, the uh, the song is gonna have to wait, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, I think we're done. I think we're out. Yeah, I think we're out too. All right, <laughs> good night, guys. I'm gonna be back streaming tomorrow probably, so uh, tune in for some quality League of Legends actions, <laughs> and maybe we'll do the song tomorrow. I am not singing that song. <laughs> All right, uh, you guys, we'll we'll talk about it. Don't worry. Not doing it. <laughs> All right, goodbye. Good night, guys.